Hi guys, such a nice weather today and I have a great product for you which I'd like to introduce to you. It's the new Rhino Side Planner SL. And SL stands for what? Stands for super light. It just weighs 135 grams, so it's really light and that's nice if you want to have no weight on your tackle when you fish with a side planner to the side of your boat. So nice and light and at the same time very robust and in the water. So it doesn't dive in waves, it's not splashing, it's not diving when you let it out and it's uh, creating not too much pressure on your rod. At the same time it runs really high in your setup and uh, that is ensured for instance by this plastic lip, this angled plastic lip because that creates additional pressure and the light weight comes from the foam board. A very special thing on this side plan SL is the aluminium arm which is connected with uh, the clip, the main clip at the front and that's the Osprey clip from Yellowbird. It's the only clip which we actually know which can hold both monoline and braid at the same time. So and as more people use braid I think that's brilliant to use it. And at the rear you have the proven Rhino clip, that's the one with a pin in the center, so you secure your uh, side planner with that clip on the line and with that you put it in position while you play it, uh, you, while you let it out and when you hook a fish it gets free from the base body of the clip and uh, the side planner folds backwards. So that's it, the pair looks like that, right and left side, very nice and easy actually looking nice but it doesn't come like that to your shop uh, it would be very space consuming so before you can fish it you need to do a bit the side planner is, uh, comes in in a simple eco-friendly cardboard box simple like that and uh, everything is an inside you can't believe it but it is so we open it and uh, so what you get out of that is you get both boards and here you have the bag with the clips, the screws and the metal arms. And how you, uh, how you fix it or how you rig it on your boards I will show you in a second. One important thing is that in the rigged way this connecting cable between pin and the base body of the clip needs to point to the tip of the side planner. Otherwise you have rip-offs when, you, when it releases because the line can tangle after it. So you need to adjust, uh, adjust it in that way. How to do it I will show you. One second. So you take an arm and you decide for which side it needs to be. So this is the right side. You have two holes here which are uh, a little bit uh, deeper here so this uh, screw will sink into it. You have the hole and you need to take your clip and you need to hold it like that and you know exactly how you need to adjust the split ring now. So for that I take a split ring plier done and we check whether everything was correct. So as you can see the clip is correctly oriented. Well, now we just need to fix the aluminium arm in the foam body. The foam body actually you, don't, you do not need to pre-drill it. You have screws and the screws have this Torx head, this nice Torx head for which you the Torx bits you find now in almost every tackle box and to make the job easy I have this little nice tool which my wife made me as a present the very best wife in the world present for my 50th birthday so and how to do it is very easy easy you hold that one in the position you pin the screw slightly into the foam you use this tool or any screwdriver with a Torx bit and then Half done, second screw. Obviously you do not need to do it again, just once in, your, in the life of such a super light side planner. But now everything is ready. I'm going to make the left side and then we are ready to fish.
So guys, now I'm showing you how to set the side planner SL. So first you rig the lure as usual. You strip out the line. In my case, it's the top shot, which you, which uh, goes approximate 20 meter. Then I have a connection piece where the braid follows. On this connection piece, I will set the lead paraban. Then I have always the correct distance. So here's the connection piece. Here it is. Now I take, come on, take my lead paravan, the rhino paravan onto the line, push it in, ready. Now I strip out some more line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So it depends on fishing style and condition. Uh, approximately 20 meter normally does it. Salmon trolling often a bit longer. Once you have stripped it out, you're ready to set the side planner. You grip the line, you have your side planner. So now you fix the side planner on the line. First step is you take the rear clip. The rear clip is the rhino one with the pin inside. So put the line behind the pin so you never can lose the side planner. Then you need to put the line into the front pin and the front pin has this little groove and put the line into the groove and then into the base body of the clip squeeze it in and it's ready to be let out simple as that you can put it simply in the back of the boat no problem and then you put the rod in the rod holder that's it I'm catching right now a garfish. That's something what the salmon anglers normally don't like because if you have too many garfish, it's really hard to continue fishing. If you have a few like today, it's not too bad. And actually, garfish are really nice in the smoker. Uh, they taste like a smoked eel, but you can digest them much better. They're not as heavy. So, but this one, I think is a bit small. I should have put the flag away, so. It's a bit small, so he may grow bigger so and uh, cause some trouble on Europe next time. <laughs> <laughs>